Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan and I'm a PhD student here at the University of Waterloo. So this video, I'm going to be talking about the sublet that I have in Waterloo from January to April. Now, if you are a university student here in Ontario, then you know that online learning has not been easy, especially for the last couple of years. But the University of Waterloo and Laurier is planning to go back to in-person learning on February 7th. And I'm really excited because it's only a couple weeks away. So in order to prepare going back to class, I did decide to check out my sublet with my parents for one weekend just to see what the place looked like so I can kind of plan what I needed to bring. Now, I am going to be living on off campus housing but it's gonna be really close to campus so it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk away and the building that i'm going to be in is actually surrounded by a lot of other student residences so in terms of community i think there's gonna be a lot of students around which i think is really nice now the unit that i'm in is kind of like a shared suite so there's going to be five rooms in the suite with a shared kitchen but each room is going to have its own bed and its own dedicated washroom, which was really important to me because I definitely did not want to share a washroom at my age. Okay, so right when you walk in, you see this huge kitchen. It's actually pretty nice. It's got a lot of storage space and I like the colors and the granite countertops. And then to the left here, you can see that there is a living room. So some space for you to hang out with your friends. And it's a pretty nice, decent window view. You can see the street. There are some convenience stores and little restaurants nearby, so that's really convenient. So you can see how the room is organized. There's going to be a hallway, and then there's going to be, I believe, five rooms connected to this hallway. And mine's is actually the first one onto the left. So when you walk in, you can see that it is going to be room number two. And on the right hand side, you can see that this is the washroom. Now, it was really important to me to get an ensuite washroom because I just didn't want to share a washroom with anyone because that can be a very messy and disgusting situation. But the washrooms here look pretty nice. I mean, you got your standard toilet, you got your sink. Showers are really good size. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this washroom and does look really clean. I'm just hoping that the drains and water pressure is really good. And then right when you exit the washroom, you can see that there is this huge dresser. So definitely enough storage space for me. I'm not planning to bring a ton of clothes to this place because I'm only going to be here for half of the week every week. So that's definitely enough space for me. And then another important thing for me was definitely the size of the bed. I wanted a double size bed just because it's just a lot more comfortable having more space. I have slept in dorms when I was an undergrad with a single size bed and that is just too small for one person, especially for two. So as you can see, the wall color not my favorite, but at least it matches the furniture. And I do get a nice little view from my desk, which is nice, a little bit of a street view. As you can see, there are other student residences nearby. So I think when Waterloo goes fully back into person, it's gonna be a bit more lively and not as dead as it looks right now. And then you can see there's like this little treasure chest in the corner for more storage. Um, and I do like how the bed is elevated. So there is some more storage under the bed. The walls are a little, not the greatest. It does seem like a lot of students have posted uh, posters and or hung things on the wall and have ripped them off along with the paint. But I guess the owners just didn't bother fixing that. But as you can see, overall, the space is definitely a bit on the small side. There's just enough room for you to kind of take a nap, get work done, but not much room to do anything else. But overall, I got to say, I'm pretty happy with this place. I did get it at a discount for $690 per month because luckily the person that I'm subletting this from is a family friend and when they originally rented the place they got it during the covid year so they got two free months of rent and so they passed on part of the savings to me as well which was definitely really nice of them but yeah overall i think i'm going to be pretty happy with this place okay so now this is the footage of what it looks like when you get right off the elevator and as you can see it definitely looks a bit dingy the roof is a bit on the short end and it does look a little bit creepy compared to maybe some of the other condos you see in toronto but overall i am really satisfied with this place so that pretty much wraps up the video for today hopefully when i do move down in a couple weeks i can show you guys what my place is going to look like after i furnish it and customize it a little bit to my liking if you guys like this content and you want to follow my phd journey then consider subscribing to the channel and hit that thumbs up button because it really supports me thanks a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one peace